Do you believe everything you've been told about space? Think again. Get ready to be shocked as we uncover the top 10 biggest lies about space that have been circulating for years. From conspiracy theories about the moon landing to misconceptions about black holes and gravity, this video will debunk the myths and reveal the truth behind what you thought you knew about the universe. Buckle up for a wild ride through space as we uncover the biggest lies about our cosmos and set the record straight once and for all. The moon will turn green. In spring 2016, there was a rumor that the moon would turn green because several planets had aligned and caused an eerie glow, according to Earth Sky. This was supposed to happen on April 20 and again on May 29 for the first time since 1596, the rumor alleged. The moon never actually turned green, although it can appear red during a lunar eclipse when the moon passes through Earth's shadow. In the same way, sunsets often appear red. Sunlight is scattered as it passes through Earth's atmosphere, casting a reddish shadow on the moon's surface. Sky-watching columnist Joe Rayo debunked this green moon myth. He pointed out that a full moon took place on April 22, 2016, and speculated that the April 20 date of the green moon might have to do with National Weed Day, popularly known as 4 20ths. Considering that the last green moon supposedly happened 420 years ago as well, this doesn't appear to be a coincidence. Zero Gravity Day If you ever wanted to leap into the sky and soar like Superman, this hoax is for you. In late 2014 and early 2015, a widely shared story claimed that on January 4, 2015, Everyone on Earth would experience weightlessness due to a rare alignment of the planets. A doctored image of a purported tweet from NASA's Twitter account that went around on social media fooled a lot of people into believing the hoax. But of course, nobody floated off the surface of Earth that day. Earth's gravity is too strong for people to become weightless. The only way to experience weightlessness without going to space is to ride aboard a plane that performs parabolas, with some including a few seconds of weightlessness. This is sometimes nicknamed the Vomit Comet. UFO is KOUG Refueling at the Siren NASA has a fleet of sun-gazing spacecraft that keep an eye on space weather, especially during solar eruptions. In 2012, telescopic images appeared to show something in the shadows. On YouTube, some viewers said this could be a UFO that was refueling by using solar plasma. However, NASA pointed out that the feature is something called a prominence, which has cooler and denser plasma than the outer atmosphere of the sun or the corona. Scientists are still trying to figure out how solar prominences develop, but they're pretty sure it has nothing to do with aliens. There are KNLs on Mayars. Author Percival Lowell became one of the space's first popularizers when he wrote many books for the general public back in the late 1800s and early 1900s. In these books and other writings, he said there were canals on Mars built by an intelligent civilization, perhaps to move water into desert-stricken areas. He claimed to have seen the canals in his telescope and produced several sketches that are still available on the Internet today. There are no artificial canals on Mars. Several spacecraft have flown by the planet or orbited it, and not one has caught signs of aliens from orbit. What they have seen, however, are smaller channels that were created by nature, likely from water, ice, or other processes. H-E-X-A-G-O-N is alien teach-e-genology. Saturn's hexagon was first spotted when NASA's Voyager spacecraft flew by the giant, ringed planet in 1980. The bizarre, Six-sided structure on the round planet's north pole caused quite a stir because straight lines and polygons are not so common in nature. Immediately after the Voyager returned its first images of Saturn's strange feature, even stranger theories arose to explain it, including that it was somehow related to alien technology, or perhaps even was a gateway to hell. The hexagon is not artificial, but rather a weird-looking hurricane at Saturn's pole. NASA has done several flybys of this region with the Cassini spacecraft, studying the haze particles and other features of the storm, to try to learn more about its unusual properties. 
Mayaris is as big as the moon. Originating in 2003, the infamous Mars hoax asserts that Mars was closer to Earth than it had been in the 60,000 years prior and that the planet will appear as large as the full moon. What started as a misconstrued email turned into a recurring rumor that gets reshared every August and naturally has spread to social media as it became more popular. Although Mars is indeed relatively close to Earth in a cosmic sense, it will never be as large as the full moon. It will appear as a red dot in the sky, just as the ancient astronomers saw it. If you'd like to see Mars magnified, take out a telescope or look at one of NASA's spectacular Mars pictures. The Earth is Ephelite. This myth is so popular that there is even a group named after it. The Flat Earth Society. Members of the organization argue that the horizon is always at eye level, which they say would not be possible if the Earth were round. They also say there is no full movie of the Earth rotating from space, which is not true, as NASA has published multiple videos taken from satellites, including a live video of Earth from the ISS, which orbits our planet 16 times per day. One way of demonstrating to yourself that the Earth is round is to consider how the orbits of satellites work. Satellites constantly fall around the Earth as they are pulled around by our planet's gravity. They just need to be traveling fast enough at a high enough altitude to not slam into the atmosphere. Or, you can look at the amazing pictures taken by astronauts at the ISS. Planet 9 will kill U.S. In April 2016, the New York Post tweeted, A newly discovered planet could destroy Earth as soon as this month. The newspaper was referring to Planet 9, a theoretical planet at the edge of the solar system. An accompanying video also claimed that the new planet would be throwing all sorts of asteroids and comets at Earth, which would supposedly end up pummeling our planet. Although the planet's existence has not been confirmed, astronomers are actively looking for it to explain the motions of some objects in the icy Kuiper Belt, a vast region of icy objects beyond Neptune. If the planet is found, the planet will pose no threat to us according to the California Institute of Technology's Mike Brown, who is one of the original backers of the Planet Nine theory. There is a killer planet he known as Nenai Bairu. Conspiracy theorists say another dangerous planet is Niduru, which was first mentioned in the 1976 book, The Twelfth Planet, by Zacharia Sitchin. In the book, Sitchin translated ancient Sumerian cuneiform and claimed that the text is proof of a planet beyond Neptune called Nidiru that orbits the Sun every 3,600 years. Years later, self-proclaimed psychic Nancy Leader claimed to have communicated with extraterrestrials who said Nidiru would collide with Earth in 2003. When that didn't happen, the date was moved to 2012, and linked, of course, with the 2012 Doomsday Predictions. Of course, the collision never occurred, the world didn't end in 2012, and no astronomer has ever found a planet on a collision course with Earth. So, there you have it. The 10 biggest lies about space debunked. It's easy to get swept up in sensationalized headlines and myths, but it's important to always question and seek out scientific evidence to separate fact from fiction. The universe is a vast and endlessly fascinating place, and we've only scratched the surface of what we know. Let's continue to explore and learn more about the mysteries of space, while also being mindful of the misinformation that can cloud our understanding. Remember, the truth is out there. If you found this video informative, make sure to hit the like button, share it with your friends and family, and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content like this.